Hey, I'm Pam and welcome to my makeup channel. Today I'm doing a bit of a haul. I, in the last couple months, have bought um, kind of a stupid amount of makeup. It was my birthday in October, so I decided to treat myself to some things that I had my eye on for a while. Then um, I got a few things from a friend and then the Sephora sale was just on, so I purchased some stuff from there as well. So in this video, I'm just going to go over all of it, give a few first impressions, use some of it as we go, although there's a lot of sort of like duplicate things like palettes, lipsticks that I can't wear all of them, but we'll put on uh, what I can start with now. So in, I think it was my last video, I was decluttering some makeup, which might seem counterproductive that I'm just buying more stuff now, but most of the stuff that I decluttered was stuff I wasn't using. In particular, I've kind of lost interest in powder blush and wanted to go into cream blush. Lily is sighing behind me, saying, Mom, buy me treats, not yourself makeup. So in my, um, in my quest to increase my, the amount of shades of cream blush, I have, I got a few things from Sephora a while ago. The first one is the Rare Beauty. Um, this is their blush in love. It's a beautiful, beautiful packaging. This is like a nice terracotta color. And I really like the texture on these particular blushes. You need very, very little, like the, the applicator actually picks up too much, but you just can like do a little dot and it's got the most interesting texture. It almost dries down to feel like a powdery kind of finish. Like it's sort of smooth and dry feeling almost, but it's really nice. Um, I really like this kind of terracotta color and this was something that I was missing in my collection. I also picked up a couple from LYS, which is Love Yourself Beauty. This is the Higher Standard Satin Matte Cream Blush. I got two shades. I got Empower, which is a sort of deeper berry red color. And then I got Self Love, which is a sort of dusky or pink color. These are both really, really gorgeous. Love working with these. They're, the colors are particularly fantastic. Like I also didn't have any colors like this in my collection, but uh, yeah, they just look really nice. They also apply nicely. When I got that stuff, I also got my Sephora birthday gift. So I got the Laneige set. It's got a little lip sleeping mask, the water sleeping mask, and the water bank moisture cream, which is one I haven't tried before. But I actually just finished my night mask and I'm almost done my lip one. So just little tiny replacements for those. I also got a sampler of the Fenty Beauty Cream Gloss Balm in Fenty Glow. I have the regular gloss, like the non-creamy one in this color as well. And it's just a super nice sort of my lips but better kind of color. And I really like the texture of this one as well. I also was on the lookout for lipstick in October and I'm not really sure why. Um, after Becca closed, their Love lipsticks have the most beautiful texture and I was kind of looking for a dupe for that and someone suggested the Milani lipsticks, which are something you can find in the drugstore. I got this in the shade Teddy Bear, which is a nice sort of brown lipstick. It's got a very nice color. The packaging is kind of like, the packaging's not great. It's sort of on the cheaper side, but I have tried it and it is similar to the Becca one. I don't think it feels quite as nice, but it is a very moisturizing, smooth formula. So it's pretty close. Um, but I also got a couple of the Milani tr color statement liners. I got one in True Red and another one in Spice. I think I'm actually just going to put Spice and the lipstick on right now so that I have something to do with my hands while I'm talking about all of this makeup. I do like these liners. They're very smooth, like they don't drag on the lips at all. And this is just like a nice warm brown color. So I've got that on. And now I will put on the Milani lipstick in Teddy Bear. It is a nice moisturizing formula. It goes on very smoothly. 
All right, so we've got some lip, some makeup on other than my brows. Now, next thing, I got a couple things from Cheekbone Beauty. This is a Canadian indigenous owned brand. And something that I really wanted to try out since they announced them was their Sustain Complexion Pencils. Mine is in Too Fair or Fair 2. And these are meant just for any complexion things you need. I use it generally as a concealer, but you can use it all over. You can get a darker one and use it as a contour. You can get a lighter one, use it as a highlight. But I absolutely love this. In fact, I've been using just this um, for complexion um, uh, for a little while now. So rather than using my BB or my tinted moisturizer, I will just go in with this sort of under the eyes a little bit where I would normally put my under eye concealer on my chin since my chin has just been red for no reason at all and then around the sort of redness on my nose and I just blend it in right, let me make sure I don't have blush still on my fingers. I will just blend it in right with my finger. It's really creamy and smooth and it blends nicely and just, you know, gives that little bit of color correction and coverage on any sort of redness or dark spots or, you know, places where your color isn't entirely even, blemishes, things like that. So yeah, I absolutely love this and I feel like I'm going through this fairly quickly because I am, uh, it's sort of taken over as my main everyday concealer. Um, and then when I got this, I think I only got the two things enough for free shipping. I got another one of their Sustain lipsticks. This is in the shade Makoche and I'm pretty sure I did use this in a video. It's just this beautiful oxblood red. It shows up more red on my lips than it does on my um, on my hand, but it's just a beautiful color. Um, the formula in the tube is a little bit drier until it sort of warms up against your lips, but it stays on very nicely. I wore it to a Halloween party, had a mask on there and back, and it still still managed to stay pretty well. One brand that I've been wanting to try for a while, but I hadn't before is Juvia's Place. And just before my birthday, they were doing mystery boxes with their new skincare line that they were just rolling out. And I can't resist a mystery box, even though it probably makes more sense to just buy the things you want. But I got a mystery box and I'll show you what was in that. But in addition, because I figured if I was ordering and paying for shipping, I wanted to make it worthwhile. So I bought the Saharan palette, which is a very nice palette with lots of beautiful shimmers in it. Um, sort of very bright, a lot of sort of oranges and golds and pinks. My favorite, the standout shadow for me is Kia. It is a dark sort of teal color which I think is gorgeous. It has a really nice, almost duochrome effect. That's definitely um, my favorite color in the palette, but all of them have applied pretty nicely. And the other thing I got, and I'm honestly not sure why I got this, but I got their I Am Magic Setting Powder. This is in White Sands. <sighs> I have enough setting powder. <laughs> But, but it's nice, it's like got a really nice finish. It's very finely milled. And I do like this, but I just have so many other things to go through. I just felt like I needed to order more just to make that shipping cost worth it. But then it comes to what I got in the mystery box. And it was going to come with two things from the new skincare line, a palette, a lip liner, and a lip balm. And I have to admit, I'm not really excited about anything I got in this. I will use it all, so it's not gonna go to waste, but I guess they have to pick the neutral-ish things to appease as many people as possible. But when I think of Juvia's Place, I always think of like bright, vibrant colors, and I feel like I just got the most basic things they offer. So when it comes to the skincare, I got the Let's Melt It Off Gel Cleanser, and Cleansers are fine, but they're like the most boring part of skincare. It's got really nice packaging, but yeah. 
As far as uh, my thoughts go, cleanser just goes down the drain. It doesn't really stay on your skin, so I, I'm not terribly excited about cleansers. I also got a second cleanser, which is the Let's Melt It Off Cleansing Balm. And this is actually nice. I have been using this since I ran out of whatever I was using last. But it's just a nice cleansing balm for like taking off heavy makeup and things. So this is nice, what I've used of it. But yeah, just not not so excited about, about cleansers. Would much rather have like a, a toner or a serum or something like that. The palette I got is just a little wee mini palette. It is the Nubian. And again, this is just a very kind of basic neutral palette. I do think it's very nice. I've used it a few times. Um, the formula is nice. The color scheme, though quite on the neutral side, is nice to wear. And maybe since the pans are so small, I'll be able to pan something one day. That would be exciting. I also got the their new balm, which also has a lovely packaging with the purple and gold. And I just got Peppermint Clear Lip Balm, which, I mean, I'll always use a clear lip balm, but again, not the most exciting product to get in a mystery box. And then the last thing is a lip liner, Lux liner in the shade Love Me. It's sort of a berry plum color, and it's actually pretty nice. Oops. Like a nice dusty pink. That's actually a really nice, a really nice lip liner with a very comfortable formula. So I do quite like this. So another brand I've had my eye on and I've tried a little bit of their stuff is Dose of Colors. And I did a look with one of these palettes already, but I just wanted to talk about them a little bit more. The Cutting Edge and the Smoky Soiree palette have been on my radar for a long time, ever since they came out. I just absolutely loved the color story of both of these. So I got both of them. There was a, a sale happening around my birthday. So this is the Cutting Edge palette. It's just this beautiful sort of olivey green and these like warm oranges and yellows. Just really, really gorgeous colors. Um, I think I have a picture. Uh, if I remember to do it, I will put it up on... Um, on the screen because I did a look with this and I really, really loved it. Um, here's just a few of the colors. So we've got the, the olive green shimmer, the gold shimmer, and then this is the sort of orangey, burnt orange color. So just really, really gorgeous. Um, they go on really nicely. Um, just apply like a dream, which I found in the, the first dose of color palette. I had the baked browns. And then the other one is the Smoky Soiree, which is a black and red and sort of steely gray palette. Another just absolutely gorgeous one. I did a look with this one, I'm pretty sure, but I just love these shimmers. They're so gorgeous. And the mattes are just like beautiful and buttery and nice to work with. But uh, here's those as well. That's the gray one. It's the champagne -y one and then the red so yeah just really really nice colors and then while I was ordering these I decided to get a couple of their glosses so I got one in don't be chai which is sort of a kind of brownie color in fact I think I'm going to just put this a little bit on over the lipstick I'm already wearing it's got the same sort of the same sort of tone. They also smell delicious as they smell like chocolate almost. So I'm just gonna put a little bit in the center of my lips here. Give it a little extra glossy finish. I really like this. And actually the one I like most is in the color Made You Blush. And this is just a beautiful blush pink, another sort of my lips, but better. This is just a really nice for me natural kind of color and people are screaming outside. Man. And something that was cool when I put in my dose of colors order is that they sent me their entire sampler foundation range. Like it's got a really nice, um, nice selection of colors here. I'm not really a medium to full coverage girl, but I did use this for my Halloween makeup. 
And I will probably try out the light colors, which are more my shades, but it was really nice that they put all of these in there. So the other brand, and I'm still on stuff I bought myself for my birthday that I wanted to get some more stuff from, is Colored Rain. I have a few of their eyeshadow palettes, the Queen of Hearts and the Power Palette, which I greatly enjoy. And one that's always kind of been on my radar because I don't have a rainbow palette is this one. It is the Vivid Pigments and Shadows. And this is just a completely gorgeous, very intense, all matte rainbow palette. And it is gorgeous. I used this sauce color for my Halloween look. I'll put it, uh, I'll put a picture up. And it's just, if you're looking for a super pigmented, non-patchy, true, true red, this is just absolutely amazing. I'm gonna just swatch a couple colors for you here. But yeah, these are just very pigmented and really gorgeous to work with. Oops, I'm making a mess. Um, I'm just gonna swatch these. Yeah, if you're looking for intensity and color, I highly recommend this. I haven't used that much other than the reds, but it's just super nice to work with. So yeah, that's the colors there. Actually, I'm just gonna turn off the ring light, see if that makes it a little, yeah, that's probably easier to see there. Just gorgeous, uh, very pigmented, especially that red. And I was afraid it would stain my face, but it actually didn't. So very happy with this palette as the one. I, I waited so long to get a rainbow palette and I'm happy that I got this one. And I know people use these magic erasers to take their makeup off their face, but I find leaving this on my vanity so that I can clean my hands as I'm putting makeup on or if I'm doing swatching, I can just like remove the swatches with it. It works super, super well. So I also got some more cream blushes and these are new products. They've only got a few, I think four different shades and I got smooches and spicy. Smooches is a very intense sort of fuchsia hot pink color. These for me, I need to just use like the smallest little bit. Otherwise they will be way too intense for me, but I know colored rain does uh, focus on uh, women of color, which is great. So just, they make these such pigmented shadows and blushes. So uh, for me, just use a tiny touch. Otherwise I go overboard, but gorgeous colors. I was a bit concerned with this orange cause it's not like a color that I would normally use, but I've worn it a few times and it's really nice, especially if you just sheer it out. I'm pretty happy with these. And then because they were on sale for like $5 or $7, I got a couple of their lipsticks. I probably didn't need these, but I have them now. First color is Affluence, which is a very deep sort of ready berry color. Really, really nice. And then the second color that I got is called Whipped, and this is more of a brown color and I really like this one as well. It's actually much more pink um, on the skin than it looks in the tube. It looks browner and darker in the tube, but it's kind of like a, I don't know, I guess a kind of intense dusty pink on the swatch. I also got a couple things as gifts. My friend Riley has been in, or had been in South Korea for a couple years and she came back and brought me some makeup. So the first thing is this Mad Velvet Liquid Lipstick. It is in the color Brick Red, I think. Oh, Burnt Brick. So it's just a nice sort of very warm orangey red color. My uh, hand is starting to really turn kind of pink from all of the stuff I've been swatching, but that's it there. It's really nice, intense. It's got a cool formula. Like it's almost like a powdery formula. Oh, it smells good too. Mm, yeah, smells delicious, very pretty. And then also this little quad by Peri Para, and it is the Ink Shat Pocket Shadow, and it's just really nice, pretty pink colors, like a very um, sort of muted look with a nice shimmer to it. I actually think I might put this on right now because I feel like... I feel naked not wearing any eyeshadow at all during this video, so I'm just going to take the 
the pinky shade and go in. Actually, you probably don't need to know what I'm going to do. I'm going to put in the pink. I'm going to put the brown in the corner. I'm going to put the shimmer on top. And I'll do that while I talk about other things. So now I think we're finally on to the last bit of the haul. And that is the stuff I got at the Sephora sale. So uh, starting off, I got one of these little first aid beauty samplers. This is the, I guess it's not a sampler, I guess it's a mini, uh, the KP Bump Eraser Scrub. I think I've talked to this about this before, but I don't have uh, the last, my last bottle. So I got a new one. I don't even have KP, which are like those little bumps on the back of your arm, but this is just, it feels delicious. It's so gritty and it's like gives such a good scrub. It just like feels nice to rub it all over your body in the shower and give yourself a nice exfoliation. So I got a new one of these. Oh, I got a hair product. This is, is this, is this company called Y or Way? Way? I think it might be Way. This is a leave-in conditioner. I've actually been using this for a little while now because my hair is always very tangled when I get out of the shower. So I've been using the regular one of this, and this is a collaboration with Byredo and their scent Mojave, Mojave Ghost. And I'm not really a perfume person. In fact, perfumes and colognes tend to give me a headache, but this smells really good. It's sort of like, mm, like woodsy, a tiny bit floral, not too strong, like a very, very subtle scent. So I'm looking forward to using this and having my hair smell like this all day because it's honestly smells really good. And this stuff does a good job at detangling my hair. And then I decided to take advantage of some gift sets. I went with the Lancome Lift and Shine. Um, this is a mascara I have bought before. It is the Lash Idole which my friend Michelle recommended to me. So I bought a mini a while ago. So this is just the full size of that. So I'll keep this closed until I'm done with the other one. And then it also comes with a Juicy Tubes Original Lip Gloss in the shade Dreamsicle, which is just a very pale, pale, pale pink. So barely shows any color on, the, on your actual lips, but it's just a nice sort of I think it's a plumping gloss. Smells really good. Smells almost like bubble gum and mint at the same time. So I got those, just a little bit of a deal buying the two of them together rather than separately. Now just putting on the little, a little bit of shimmer eyeshadow here before I get to the last couple products. These are really nice, just like a, a very light shimmer. Usually I go for the white opaque ones, but this is really just like a pretty little shimmer topper over the look. Just a nice sort of natural kind of look from this little guy. All right, so I got some more of the Rare Beauty blushes. This is the Soft Pinch Blush Trio, and these are little minis. I saw the pictures of these on the site, and I've seen them in people's videos, but it didn't occur to me until I saw how thin this box is. Um, exactly how many these actually are. So I'll just uh, compare for you here. Oh, where's the big guy? Yeah, so this is the regular size one and this is the little mini. So still, because you need very little of these, it's, uh, it's not gonna be too much of a problem. But I think I'm gonna start swatching on the other hand. It comes with this nice sort of apricot color. It is called Peace. And I wore this yesterday. It's very, very nice. And then it also comes with Bliss, which is a very pale pink color. Like this. I don't know if you can see that. I'm gonna get a little closer. And then it's got this sort of like dusty pink color, which is the color Hope. And I believe only one of these is a one that's uh, part of the collection full-time. Two of them are uh, only available with this little mini set. So yeah, those are them. Again, 
colors I didn't really have in my collection already. So I feel like now my liquid and cream blush set is at a good place where I have pretty much every color I would want. Maybe I'll, you know, branch out and get something that's a little bit purpley, but in terms of, you know, your, your pinks, your reds, your terracottas, I am pretty happy with where my blush, blush collection is right now. And last but not least, one of my favorite beauty YouTubers, who is also Canadian, uh, Julia Adams, is always talking about these Tower 28 glosses. So they had a little gift set with two limited edition ones. Actually, I think one limited edition one thing that's in there all the time. So the Tower 28 gloss, this is just the chill, so it's almost... Almost without color, I feel like I can see like a tiny, tiniest bit of pink. And this is a super nice gloss. Uh, Julia's always raving about these and I was thinking like, it's a lip gloss, like how nice could it be? But it's just got this beautiful formula. You're not, not even gonna be able to see it. It's basically just a shine, but it just has this beautiful, non-sticky, comfortable formula. And it actually lasts quite a while. I put one on and I immediately put on a mask and went out and got my hair cut. And when I got back home, I could still feel and see the gloss on me. It wasn't like as brilliant as it was when I first put it on, but like it was still, it was still hanging in there. Um, and the other color is called Chestnut, which is a beautiful brownish color. I'm not sure if you can see in here, but it's got like a nice sparkle throughout it. And these also smell delicious. And yeah, that's, that's chestnut there. So these are super nice glosses and I would definitely pick up more of these in the future. Although I probably don't need any more lip product. You know, I got like eight different blushes and I just realized I didn't put any of them on. I'm going to put on Bliss, the pale pink from the Rare Beauty line. <laughs> uh, just as I'm sort of wrapping this up, when I do pinker colors like this, I do tend to prefer it more on the apple of the cheek. Whereas when I do darker colors, I like it to be more up the cheekbone, but just starting with, yeah, just like this little tiny bit, I'm taking my e.l.f. blush brush, and I'm just gonna blend that into the cheeks, and it's just gonna give me a nice pale pink little glow that I think goes with everything. I'm kind of pink all over today, I guess, but this goes really nice with the sort of subtle eyeshadow look and then have a bit of a more brownie lipstick rather than go completely monochrome. But yeah, these are so nice and they feel so nice once they're, once they're finished. But uh, yeah, that's it for now. I feel like this video was pretty long because I got so much new makeup. But uh, yeah, I had fun doing this. I hope you liked seeing all these new things and hearing about them. I do plan on doing another declutter for my eyeshadow palettes in particular um, sometime soon. Those are kind of a pain in the butt to film, but I do plan on making one of those. If there's anything you wanna see more of, any looks you want me to do with certain palettes or lipsticks or blushes or whatever, leave me a comment and let me know. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.